Okay, this new bracket comes with four screws. So you want to look at your directions. You got you got two shorter screws and two longer screws. Hmm, which ones do I do? Well, use your short screws to mount this mounting bracket up to the box. Okay, I'm going to eyeball that. Same clearance on both sides and, and tighten this up. That's your next step. Okay, we're just about ready to put that up, but there's one more thing we got to do. Do you remember what it is? Right. We've got some mounting screws, some long mounting screws, and there's some pre-drilled holes in the mounting bracket that I put up here. So now's the time to put those in. And you're just going to screw them up here. You're not going to put them up very far. Um, the, green, the green is always considered the ground, so the green will go to the copper wire up above, the bare, strand, the bare copper wire up in the box. Okay, now I'm going to just connect white to white, line those two up, and tighten this up. You'll, you'll feel it definitely tighten, and what you want to do is when you, when you feel it's tight, you don't want to twist and twist and twist and twist too much because you could break off uh, the little wire from the light fixture, but you just want to kind of pull on, the, on, on your wires and make sure that both of them are seated in there. Because every once in a while, you'll get to a, a, a wire nut that you think, okay, I'll put that on tight. And um, you pull on one of the wires, and son of a gun, the wire pulls out. You think, wow, I'm glad I checked that. Okay, so do that. As a, that's a tip for you. Okay, now I'm hooking up black to black, same way. Just tighten that bugger on there. Okay. Check that, pull on it a little bit. Okay, there. How's that? That's what, your, that's what your project should look like right now. I don't have to concern myself too much with them going underneath this bar because I only got a half inch there. I've got plenty of area on the back side of the fixture that's going to hide these, these wires. Okay, so just kind of position the wires from the box up, up in the ceiling like that. These are more flexible here. You can just kind of spaghetti them up in there. Now we're ready to turn this light on. I have not tried it yet, so when you see it go on, that's going to be the first time I see it go on. And it's always a good thing to do this before you put your globe up there in case for some reason one of your wire nuts was loose as you're pushing your wires up in there. Or, or maybe there's another problem with it, okay? So always check it. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, it works. Okay. Now I'm, I'm keeping the plastic around this because I don't want to get my grubby hands on here. And uh, that's, now I've got these screws out all the same, all the way around. I'm glad I did that. And I want to make sure I can position this up here just right. And now I'm just going to do two screws with my finger. Two screws with my finger. Two screws. Now come over here. One there. One there. One there. All right. One more time. Let's turn it back on. Very nice. That just makes the bathroom look a lot fresher, a lot cleaner for less than 20 bucks. Man, it looks way better. Give it a slight upgrade. You don't need much money to give your bathroom a little sprucing up. Try that next time.